I'll see you guys back here again next week. Another workout. I think back to bulletproof for a shoulder. Something really important you should know about what happens when you train your shoulders. Athletenext.com. We have interrupted this week's uh, show here to give us something different. I know I had promised a, uh, a shoulder tip, something about how to keep your shoulders healthy. It's going to have to wait for a week because if you've been following the news here in the United States along the East Coast, we're getting slammed by Hurricane Irene. Matter of fact, it's coming up towards the Xbox here tomorrow. So we have to do something you know, that sort of allows us to continue to get our workouts in and I want to do a conditioning workout because guys always ask for more of those. Well, as you know, with athlete burst conditioning, we don't rely on treadmills. So we don't care if we're in the middle of a hurricane. We can still get our workouts in because we don't need electricity. And I'm going to show you right now with what I've created, the Hurricane Head Rush Workout. Now, basically, now I'm sparing me, you know, the, the, the meteorology here because I'm not a meteorologist, but I can tell you that a hurricane, as it works in towards the center eye, gets more intense. What we're going to do is go with 60 reps on the outside perimeter of this workout of mountain climbers. Fairly low intensity exercise and then we're going to go and keep, keep the same position and go 40, second, 40 reps of what I call a twisting mountain climber. So now we're going to up the intensity a little bit while we're decreasing the reps. Next, 30 reps of froggers. I'll show you what those look like. They're again another variation out of the same position. Very intense. When you start to add all this up your upper body is going to be torched, your lower body, your core, everything. Next thing, burpees. You all love them. You probably, you know, hate, hate them to death, but we're going to do 20 regular burpees and then lead into 10, as we get right outside that eye, 10 tuck jump burpees. Kind of combining what we did last week, go into the burpee, very, very intense. We're going to hit the eye, which is going to be a static plank for two minutes. So now, it might be, you know, again, this, the hurricane is still going here, so you're still going to have to work hard. A two-minute plank, and then we're going to reverse direction to get out of this hurricane as it passes through, right back to 10, 20, 30, 40, 60 of the same exercises. So let me take you through this thing and show you what it's going to look like. Come on, bring it over here. Basically, we start off with 60 mountain climbers. So we get down in position, and here, if you know the mountain climber, get onto your forearms. When I say 60, one, one, two, two. Okay, that's 10. So we have to keep it going all the way up to 60. Next, we go twisting mountain climbers. So we're gonna get a little bit more of our obliques into that by coming down. Now, twisting mountain climbers, same thing, across the body, even across the body. And still, one, one, two, two, three, three. Okay, all the way down, 40 reps. Next one, progress. In this position. Here, hop them in, hop them out. In and out. Okay, it's, look, it's like a burpee, but we're not standing up. So, in, out, 30. Okay, then we come up into those burpees. Straight down, out, out, in, up. Okay, straight down, hop it out. You don't have to do a push up here. Just hop it out and up. Try to keep your pacing up. Okay, 20. Then, tw 10 of our puck jump burpees. Real time. Out here. Okay, down into our active rest, which would be our two minute plank 
have a good position. Have your stopwatch. Hold yourself. If you find that it gets to be too hard, you can drop down. But still keep that plank engaged. Don't go into a full rest position like that. As soon as those two minutes are up, grab your, uh, come back up to your feet. Ten more tuck jump burpees, right into 20 of the regular burpees, 30 of the froggers, 40 twisting mountain climbers, and 60 mountain climbers. Guys, like I said, this is what athlete burst conditioning is about. You go from periods of high intensity to active rest, never just rest, active rest, like our two-minute plank, back into periods of high intensity. It's interval training at its best, it's unique, it combines strength training with conditioning to get the most out of you. This is what we talk about, forget the treadmills, unplug them, not just today, during the hurricane, but unplug them forever as you work on building up your strength and stamina in one shot. If you haven't already guys, head to athletenext.com, get the Athletenext training system, get first training, we're having, starting to, you know, have some problems here guys, you better hurry up, get to athletenext.com and grab your program today. Guys, we'll be back here next week, we think, if you're still there, for another good workout from Athletenext. I'll see you seven days from now. Peace. It's cool, young Reese.